look at that guys this auto farm is the fastest auto farm for blocks fruits right now and there we go we're farming chests in an instant guys look at how op this is and with this gy you can auto farm candies in the new christmas update in today's video, I'll be showing you guys the latest script GYs for the new Blocks Fruits Christmas update. In this update, they added a lot of new stuff, but with these GYs, you have stuff like candy form, present form, and a lot more. And to use the script, you need two things. First of all, you need the script itself, obviously, which I'll be showing you how you can download later on in the video. And second of all, you need the Roblox exploit. And if you don't have one, don't worry, guys. I got you covered with the best free Roblox exploit called Ferg Ultra, and I'll be showing you how you can install that later on in the video as well. And also, somewhere in this video, I hit a thousand Roblox gift card code, which you can find. So make sure to watch the entire video. And if you want more videos like this, then just drop a like to this video and sub to the channel with post notifications turned on. Anyway guys, let's just get into it. To download the script, go to the first link in the description and you'll be seeing this website as you can see. So there are two ways to get the script. The first way is to download Ferg Ultra, which is the exploit on my screen right now. It has over 200 games built into the game up right here as you can see. And if you have Ferg Ultra, you will also find a Buzzfruit script built into the game up right here as you can see. And once you execute it, you will see the GUI with over 50 script GUIs in this hub as you can see. And I'll only see that this is all you need guys. And if you want to download Ferg Ultra, you can find it on the top of the website right here as you can see. Just click on it and then just go down until you see the download button. And here you'll be able to download Ferg Ultra as you can see. But if you don't want the script itself, as you can see I uploaded the four new scripts right here. You can download them individually if you want that. Or you can go up to the search bar at the top right and just search for Blocks Fruits right here. And once you hit enter you'll be seeing all the results as you can see. And there are a ton of GUIs and even multiple pages as you can see. But if you want every single GUI in one hub, you should download this one in the middle right here on the home page this gy is every single script you can find in one hub and it's always updated and i'll be showing you i can download that right now so once you're on this page just go down until you see download button and I just click download right here and you'll be seeing a website open up just like this and you will see a few tasks as you can see there will be a maximum of two tasks guys and they're really simple to finish and i'll show you how you can finish them as well but if you need any help don't worry you can ask help for more support in the discord server in the description so make sure to join it wdiscord.gg slash roblox exploits anyways the first task is to download and install an app just click on it and then you'll be seeing this hit download and then just open the file you get and guys trust me these files are not malicious and if you want you can delete them afterwards anyways once you open the file you will see this hit next and you will see a few offers again but you can obviously decline these just decline them like this there we go next decline there we go decline and I will install the file as you can see. I just hit install now and I'll open up a file. You will see the setup, just hit next. I finish the entire setup. And once you are done, I will say this as you can see, complete it. Just click done and you will see a website opening called Work Inc. As you can see. And on this page, you only have one simple task, which is this one right here. Just click on it and just finish the task. And once it is done, just press go to destination right here. And I will be seeing a timer of 15 seconds. Just wait for it to run once out. Timer runs on, just press proceed to target and you will see the script downloading in a second. As you can see, the TXT file right here. And just copy the script, just press Ctrl A, Ctrl C, and open up Roblox. Once you are in Blocks Fruits, open up your roblox executor and obviously i'll be using ferg ultra link in the description to download it just put it into the execution tab right here and then press execute and you'll be seeing the gui as you can see and if you're using ferg ultra just go to the game up and just click on blocks fruits right here you'll see the exact same gui as you can see anyways we have four new gui's chiba hub zuck hub alucard hub and winnable hub as you can see and in my opinion the chiba hub is the best gui out of the new ones but overall the best gui on this entire hub is zen hub anyways i'll be showing you guys chiba hub right now just execute it like this and it will load as you can see you might see a widescreen just disable this widescreen option right here and you will see the entire screen again we got a lot of tabs we have main combat stats teleport dungeon food shop misc and check so first of all on a check page you can just see all your stats and like whatever you haven't gotten as you can see i'm in world one i'm this is my current race i'm a human my current fruit my current level on my body and you will see like all the things that i don't have right now i don't have the yama out of this i don't have that and you will also see the quest you haven't done and a lot more right here as you can see it's back to main on this tab you can auto form so first of all enable the fast attack mode you want to use i'm going to use normal because super it just crashes your game sometimes and you have a few more settings so you can make it so it brings all the mobs to you they can enable a widescreen so like whenever you're auto farming and someone is around you they won't see that you're auto farming which is really cool and you have two versions of auto farming i'll be doing the first one but before that make sure it's like a weapon i'll be using my light weapon right here and there we go let's just enable the auto farm and it'll auto farm for you as you can see right there you can use v1 or v2 it's up to you i'm just gonna use v1 for this video now i'll grab a quest for you as you can see and i will start auto farming look at that it's really op guys they can't do anything about it and we already finished them off really really fast and the quest depends on your level so if you're a high level it will give you a really hard uh, quest look at that i'm getting so much more snowmans look at that i'm gonna kill him off and there we go we just got more look at that and there we go we're doing it again and he should be finished as well there we go the quest is done and i will do it over and over again until you have so much level then you have fake mink v4 transformation which is really cool they can auto from the doken if you enable this they can auto from the do boss they can uh, auto from some fighting styles if you want that you can do god human superhuman and a lot more and i can auto from your devil fruit mastery or your gun mastery if you want that they can auto from boss as you can see so i'm gonna try to auto from a boss in this list i'm just gonna do auto from all boss and let's see what it does. There you go. It's gonna go teleport to the boss. And you'll find a lot of bosses in this list. As you can see, if you want to auto from one single boss. And here we are at the boss place. I'm gonna go auto from him now, I think. And there we go. 
Look at this boss, Magma Admiral. And he can't do anything to me, guys, because I'm literally above him and he cannot touch me. I'm doing so much damage, guys. Look at him. Even if he's trying to, like, damage me, he can't damage me. I'll always be above him and I'll always attack him. And he won't be able to touch me, as you can see. And he's finished in a second. He's really, really low health. Look at that. So there we go. Five, four, three, two, one. And he should be finished. There we go. Look at that, guys. And it will auto from a different boss if you keep this enabled. Next off, you can uh, auto from the law raids if you want that. You can auto from dungeons. Really cool. And you can also auto from the buddy sword. And a lot more stuff, as you can see by here. You can auto from bones, you can auto from observation haki, you can auto from saber, enchantment colors, Rengoku, haki v2, evil race, holy torch, and a lot more stuff guys. I'll be showing all these features in this video because it will take too long, but you can use them for yourself and see how they go. Next you have combat. So the first thing you can do is select the player, I'm gonna select this player called Cool Off Kid, and you can spectate this player as you can see that once I enable this, I will be able to see him from far away as you can see. Then if you want, you can also TP to him just like this. It will just TP towards him. I'm not going to do that now. And you can also auto from the player. I'm going to enable that now. I'm going to go try to auto from him. It's currently going towards him. I'm going to go auto from him now. I can also enable PvP in case it's disabled just like that. Or you can enable safe mode if you want that. It's up to you. They can also use your gun to aimbot him, which is really, really cool, guys. So we are really close to him. As you can see, I'm going to go next to him now. And he's right there. I'm gonna go auto from him now. Hopefully, he has PvP enabled. And there we go. I'm damaging all of them. Next, mm -hmm. next you can bondy from. So you can just auto from bondies in the server. If you enable this, it will make you wipe person like so. Now, like, no one can see you who you are, and no one can report you. But there's literally no one in the server with a bondy, so I won't be able to do it now. I'm gonna disable this. Then you have ESP, so you can have ESP for players. Now you can see everyone around the map, as you can see. You can have ESP for a chest. So you can see every single chest around the map. Look at that. Then you can have ESP for fruits. So now you can see every fruit around the map as well. Now, I don't think there's any fruit around me, so I can't see any fruits. But if there are any fruits, oh, actually, right there, as you can see, spin fruit right there. I should probably go grab that so I can show it in this video right now. But I have a chest right here, as you can see. I'm gonna go towards it. How do I get in there? Oh, right here, right? There we go. And chest, I just grabbed it. Really cool. Oh, someone is chasing me. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Get out, get out, get out, get out. And go away. All right, good. We're good, we're good. I'm gonna go grab that fruit. So I'm gonna go to the island right now. Just go towards it. And we're here, as you can see. I'm gonna go to that fruit. And is it here? Yes, it is. As you can see, I can hold it. And now it's in my hands, guys. Really, really cool. Now, obviously, guys, this fruit is not that good. But you can find a lot of fruits on this map. I found this light fruit on the ground with this crypt. So it's really cool. Then you have ESP flowers, so you can see flowers around the map. And I'll ask you can see all the islands around the map with the name. So you can see Middletown right there. You can see North Pole right there. Really cool. Then you have a bug, so you can pretty much have infinite energy. So once you enable this, your energy won't go down. Auto activate raise, infinite ability. Look at that, guys. Look at how fast I'm running now. Then you can uh, infinite observation range right there. Walk on water, snuck and walk on water. Look at this, guys. Oh, I think that feature is bugged. Never mind. Don't use that feature. It's bugged, guys. Then you can fly on the map if you want that. Then you can fly if you want. They can also go through walls with no clips. So once you enable no clip, you can go through walls. Look at this. You can go through this free. I can go through this uh, bridge if I. Wait, actually, let's go through that. Okay, as you guys can see, the stone right there. I'm gonna run through it. Look at that. Really, really cool. Next off, you have stats where you can pretty much have auto stats enabled. So once you have stat points in your stats uh, page right here, so I currently have 12. And once you enable these, it will use your stat points among uh, all of these stats equally. Use this when you auto from it. So like when you go AFK, it will pretty much use your stats for you. Next, you have stat points. You can pretty much teleport to the old world, second sea, third sea, or the sea beast, or even to any island you want. So I say I wanna go to the uh, windmill, let's see. And it's teleport there and they will teleport me there as you can see. I want to stop off here right now. Let me just go to this village. Next off, yeah, dungeon where you can pretty much dungeon from. So you can uh, wait for a dungeon. You can auto dungeon right here. You can auto wake. You can also have kill aura for the dungeon. They can also select ships right here. I don't know what that is. But I think you can uh, from all these different uh, dungeons. You can do flame, ice, quick and all that. Really, really cool. Next off, we have fruit where you can uh, have a lot of features for the fruits. So first you can snipe fruits. So let's say you want to get any of these fruits right. I want to select soul soul. And once you enable auto buy fruit sniper. Once a fruit is in the shop, it will buy it instantly for you. So let's say you go AFK, it will still buy it for you, which is really cool. They can automatically eat fruits if you want that, if you have it in your inventory. Then if there's any fruit in the map, it will just grab it for you. Just like that. So once you press auto grab, it will grab the fruit. And as you can see, it just grabbed it in my hand, which is really, really cool. I'm going to just try it out. So I'm just going to drop this fruit right here, right? I'm going to show it again. Drop. The fruit is right there, right? So once I enable grab fruit, again, it will just bring it to my hand, which is really cool. So if anyone, like, drops something really, really OP uh, by accident, it will just grab it onto your hand. So make, make sure it's enabled by all times. Next off, you have shop. This page is pretty much a shop where you can buy everything. So you can find a lot of stuff. You can find abilities, fighting styles, accessories, swords, guns, bones, fragments, and boats. And you can buy all of these from this GUI, as you can see. And at last, you have missed. So first of all, you have server where you can pretty much join a server. You can join a different server. You can hop to a lower player server, as you can see. They can open these UIs with the developer. So once I enable this, it will open up the double fruit shop, as you can see. You can open your inventory like this. Look at that. And open your inventory for fruits, which is really cool. Then I don't know what this is, but you can highlight more. I don't know what that is, to be honest. But yeah, it's just... Oh, I see. So once you enable this mode, it will remove everything on your UI, as you can see. They can swap teams. You can... uh 
unlock portals that can go invisible. They can stop all three, which means like if you're teleporting, you want to stop. Just enable this, it will stop teleporting. They can redeem all the codes if you have. And so once you enable this, it will redeem all the codes in the game. We already done that, so it won't work. Actually, I just got a stat refund at the top, as you can see. It's really cool. They can change your hockey state to like only the states. You can have a graphic mode so you can enable RTX mode just like this. It will have your game into RTX mode, which is really, really cool. They can remove fog if you want that. You can FPS boost if you want that. Oh, I just bugged out my game. They can unlock your FPS so like your FPS will be unlimited if you want that. And again, you can have ESP for all of these. That's the same thing as before, which is really cool. Anyways, that was it for Cheebop, guys. I'm going to show you guys different GYs now. So here we have Zek Hub which looks like um, this right here that has a lot of features as well. And this GUI is really, really good for mobile too, guys. If you're on mobile, just use this. Then you have uh, Alucard, which is a new GUI. And it's also really, really OP in my opinion. Look at this. It's really cool. And this one has uh, quite a bit of features as well. And I'm showing you guys Whole Hub as well. So look at this, guys. It's the best GUI as well as uh, Sen Hub. Which is really cool. And on this pitch, you can actually uh, fruit rain. So once you enable this, it will rain fruits above you. As you can see, that looks really, really cool, guys. Really, really cool. And you can actually grab these fruits as well. You can uh, hold them in your hand. Look at that. It's a sick feature. Look at that. I have the leapfrog fruit in my hand. You can actually eat this as well, but it won't take effect, obviously. And the last thing I want to show you guys is a utility tab, right? So on this tab, you can uh, have a chest hopper. Once you enable this, it will just hop around the map and get you all the chests, as you can see. Look at that. It's going really, really fast. And it's an instant teleport. I'm getting so much money. Look at that. But yeah, that was it for these scripts. I hope you liked it. And if you did, guys, drop like and sub to the channel. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.